Alright guys, today we're going over the basics of blood magic, and this is a tier 1 altar. You can create that by just looking up your recipe right here inside NEI, or you can look it up on Feed the Beast Wiki. You're going to need a diamond, a furnace, a couple stone, or a few stone here. Gold, it's pretty cheap for the first altar. And what you want to do after that is create a sacrificial knife. Into, that will... Uh, Basically sacrifice your own life, it's pretty cheap. Make this little thing. Now, notice there's no blood inside of our altar right now. Or life essence, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to sacrifice our own life, but we'll eat it. Go. And you just right click and it's going to take part of your health away. And as you can see, as my health bar is going down, off to your left, the pool of blood inside the altar is raising up. And if you look here, you can barely see it on the right side. It says we have 600 life essence in there. So we just got to keep going until we get about a thousand. Be very careful not to kill yourself because you can kill yourself by clicking this too many times. As you can see, my life's getting pretty low. Now we got that we got a thousand life essence in there, we can actually start doing stuff with blood magic. The first thing you want to do is get a piece of normal stone and I don't have it in there so we'll have to grab it real quick. Stone like this right here. And what that'll do is place it inside the altar. Start to uh, convert it. You can see the particles that are coming off it, and it's going to turn into a blank slate that we use for something later on. So we just right click that out of the blood altar. <laughs> We're just going to toss that in the chest, and I want to grab the quick, because this will make it easier to get blood. From Next we want to make a weak blood orb, and that just takes one diamond. I'm going to take this diamond and place it. Now this actually takes quite a bit of uh, life, so we're going to shift click this blood. We need to take the item out. Alright, so shift click the blood in there, then we can do that. So you can see the particles working, and that means that converting this item into a blood magic, oh, blood magic item for us to use. And we'll just on so it restores our life. Once it's done, it'll give us the weak blood orb. Now, what you can do with this is start creating a water sigil and a lava sigil. And you're going to need a lava crystal, and you can also look that recipe up in NEI. It's not too hard. So we're going to look up the lava sigil, which is right here, since we already have the water one. And it takes six buckets of lava, the slate that we made earlier with the stone, Lava Crystal and Magma Cream. So this is definitely not an early game mod, but let's see if I can. Now you put it like this and you actually get the, the weak blood orb back. So you don't have to sit there and waste diamonds on this thing every single time. Guess not. I need the slates. I I was thinking of the lava crystal. Plate in the middle. Crystal at the bottom. Already forgot what goes at the top. Goes at the top magma cream. Now we got a lava sigil and it gives us our lava crystal back. Keep making these. You don't have to create a lava crystal every single time. Now that we got a water sigil and a lava sigil, we have infinite water source. You can also place lava down, and it it costs life essence. So you can make obsidian with this. You can whatever you want with water and lava, but it absolutely infinite. But as you can see, it does cost life points if you don't have enough area. And as can see the diamond here that we left in there before has converted into the weak blood orb. Now as far as I know this is all you can do for the first uh, the first tier of 
blood altar. There may be more things, but I'm not aware of them yet. We'll cover that in the second video, which will be tier two of the blood altar. So that's it for today.